All right. We are about ready to go. Everything seems fine. Gonna make sure volume's off. Laptop's good. Phone's good. Swapping it over. Oh, oops. Okay. Uh, last time I got the score in Titan Cup, and I tried Zemis, Zemnis, and that was it. Didn't even beat Zemnis. Today, we work on the Hades Cup score. It's going to be a long one. If we're taking the safe route. Which, that's what we're doing. Okay. Let me double check something. Yeah, okay. Uh, I want to make sure my shock charms are equipped. Okay. Everything else is fine. Sora needs to speed things up. Wishing lamp. So with wishing lamps and shock charms, this is how we're gonna get through this. So what we need to do is we need to go to round uh, 47. 48 Cerberus, 49 is the Cloud, Leon, Tifa, and Yuffie fight. Then we got the fight with Hades at round 50. Round 47. We know the drill here. We just let this guy hang. Oh, wait. Hold on. I forgot something. I don't need Reflect. I, I'm i not using it. So, I'm swapping it to Blizzard because some of the fights later on during like the, during round 49 and round <coughs> 50, Blizzard would be better. Now, let's try that again. Alright. We know the drill. Wait this out. Come on. Not yet. Okay. Now what we do... We get little baubles there for, for dodging their attack. And this is what we're going to be doing the entire time. This is all we're going to be doing. Keep gliding back and forth. We get score bobbles. Every time they... Every time they miss. Every time they miss, the lance hits their head. And this is how we're going to get to the 15,000. It's going to take a while. This is going to take a while. But there isn't a faster... Well, the faster way, I would think, is to actually just play from start. And use Peter Pan when you can. However, uh, 
There are many difficult fights, so if you lose, you're taking longer. So this is just the safe route. Now, even if we get the 15,000, uh, <laughs> even if we get the 15,000, we still have to finish the rest of this match and then, you know, the three sets of boss fights. So, it's not 100% safe. If you want to start at a higher score, you could start at round 45 instead. Round 45 is the Thousand Heartless fight and you got like a minute time limit to try to build up some score. So you could start there just to get a farther start on your score. We're gonna be here for a while. Get comfy. Put some, keep it going in the background. I don't know. This is just how this is going to take. The other one didn't attack. There we go. I guess they all attack after a certain amount of time. Okay, so I, I think I'm noticing something about their animation. Sometimes they get bonked on the head multiple times. And other times they get only bonked like once or twice. See, we're already 10 minutes in, and we're already at 210. 15,000 in total. <laughs> this is going to take a while. But we need the drill going in. This might be a case where if I get very close but I fail. I may try more attempts of doing this off stream because after a certain point, if this is all I'm doing, like, I, I don't know if everyone needs to sit through it again, but we'll see. Yeah, too bad you can't just sit around and do nothing. No, you have to actually pay attention and make sure you don't get hit. At least for you know, while doing all this. It's not like we can summon Stitch. Just glide back and forth. And yeah, remember, they can still kill you in one hit. So you definitely want to make sure you're paying attention. Even though they can't reach me from the other side. And you never know. Play it safe. Always assume they'll reach you. Okay. See, one stop sooner. All right. If I had the ability to focus, this is where I would just put up like another YouTube video or something and just watch that for a little while. Assuming, like, I would be able to pay attention. So it takes about, what? 
five minutes to get about 200 score, give or take. Maybe six minutes. Five to six minutes to get about 200. Okay. Too bad I can't do something like uh, use up my magic uh, to increase the amount of drops that I get. That's not possible. And the only way to have jackpot is to have use this keyblade. No other... There's no other way to get jackpot at level 1. Five hundred now. Keep it going. Five hundred and thirty. I wonder how long it will actually take to get the fifteen thousand. what the final time will actually be. I want to make sure they're lined up a little bit better. Yeah, that's better. It seems random to me on um, how many baubles you get little score orbs every time. Yeah, that didn't last as long. Hey, look, I'm tied. Now I beat my record. I beat my record. Yay. <laughs> now to actually, you know, now to actually beat it, you know? Nah, not enough. We're at 600. Actually, that didn't... Getting 200 didn't even take five minutes, so... I don't know. Less than that. There we go. Again, I guess it all varies on how many times they get bonked in the head. It'll be a big deal once we actually get a thousand. I mean, I don't know what else to really say. This is just how we're going to have to do it. This is the safe route. There we go. 
go. Past the 700 mark. Yeah, if we didn't go through this route, we would have to start at round one. And what we probably end up doing is... Uh, since the first couple rounds are don't require the hit thing, we could find one good enemy to uh, basically lose all my health and then summon Stitch. For, like, round one. You know what I mean? If that's even possible. But then, other than that, it's summon Peter. Peter Pan would be the better one to have. Just in general fights. Other than the boss fights, I guess. Well, made it to 800. We're getting there. Actually, I actually take taking a look at when I actually started this fight. Let's see. Yeah. Still in the eight hundreds. Yeah, you want to make sure you're far away from them, that way they ch start running towards you. Uh, because you got to be careful if they use their Lance Tug move. That's dangerous. Uh, 900, there we go. Still gotta keep it going. <laughs> Man, I'm able I'm I'm really hoping I could get this all done in the stream. I guess it re it really just depends on how long this will actually take. I mean, I'm expecting about 3ish hours to get the get the full score. But I don't know if that's actually going to be true. Molly, no. And no, we're not. We didn't get it. Two off. One thousand. So what? It's been like, what? Twenty minutes? Maybe fifteen? 
15, 20 minutes. Because five of the five of those was from Yeah, so about twenty minutes got me a thousand score. Give or take. Because it really depends on how many, how much score they decide to drop me per, per, uh, per loop. Now, five of that timer was from the starting soon. Then let's just say, what, a minute or two to get all the way here and start this up? Oh, was that like the 25 stream minute mark? So yeah, give or take 20 minutes to get a thousand. Hmm. That's not a good sign. So in an hour, I'm going to get about... So in an hour, I'll probably get 3,000. Oh, you might need you might need five hours. We might need five hours for this. Wait, no, I'm stupid. Yeah, no, three hours for about 20 minutes. Six, six, nine, that's three hours. 12, 15, that's five hours, yeah. And then beating the rest of the three matches past that, which that'll take a few... I'll probably take, I don't know, what, 20 minutes? Actually, maybe even longer than that to beat Cerberus, round 49, and then Hades. Yeah, who knows. I may have underestimated... Uh... How much time this will take. If I am in a situation where I fail and we're doing this again, this route, I may have to just start stream sooner just to make sure for a fact that I can get this all done. There is the score from the rest of this round. Because there's still more fights. The problem is I have no clue how much score I'll get from them. And if I mess up and don't get enough score from the rest of this round, that's it. Cerberus, round 49 and Hades are not going to give me score. So I might as well just... Make sure all I get all my score from this fight. At this point, we're too far in. Yeah, maybe start at round 45. Just to get a jump start on the score. And then you have to try to get through round 46. If I remember correctly, that one was pretty tough. They have, like, those purple enemies from Space Paranoids. assume that they're just in range. Right, Molly? Always assume they're in range. Yeah. 
if you're playing this game normally, like you're actually at like level 100, just start from the beginning. <laughs> this is, not, it's not worth it to go this route. Even if you have like one or two jackpot abilities. Like you're at a high enough level that you won't die in one hit. The alternative for a level one is to just keep fighting Saix over and over and over again and get the defense boost and try to raise your defense high enough to where it's manageable. But at that point, what's the point of level one? I don't know. If you're specifically grinding for like the stat, stat boost. Again, based on how this game works, you have to hit basically specific thresholds. A single stat point might not actually do make a difference. You have to hit a magic number for you to suddenly start dealing damage. Or more damage, I, sh I should say. Could get them to hit them, bonk themselves on the head multiple times consistently. Make that consistent, but I don't know how. It seems random to me. Not there. Not the next hundred mark. Fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred already. Isn't that great? Yeah, one had the shorter animation right there. It, it seems random. I mean, we know it can be done, that's for sure. I mean, it, the fact that we can beat Hades Cup and we know we can get the score this route, we know it's possible. But that's the thing. We may know it's possible, but Jiminy says, no, you haven't done it. So I don't think you could do it. If it's not marked in my, in my journal, then it's not done yet. Sixteen hundred. Ooh, gotta be careful. Fifteen 
Another 400 for the next thousand. Thousand fre threshold. Okay, gotta be careful. I was gonna say the other one's still walking towards me. I was gonna, he's, yeah, he had some range right there. Okay, they're desynced right now. That's not a good sign. Ooh. I think one attack, but the other didn't. Yeah, damn. Trying to get them synced again. But let's be honest, they're probably not going to get synced until, like, like, like there. There we go. Perfect. The one farther away would need the shorter animation, the one closer would need the longer one for them to get synced again. And then you just gotta hope they get the same timings. But nope. It's so it's it's so good that they can't aim up when when they're running like this. Still synced. Oh, wait. They basically have the same animation timing. That's good. Nope. Oh, no. They're slightly desynced, but it's okay. Got another 200 to go. And again, this is the only way to safely get consistent orbs. Everyone else, you have to actually just make the kills. If I knew the minimum amount of score that the rest of this round would give me... <clears throat> like, say, if I'm guaranteed at least 200, I could... Uh, get to, like, 14... Eight, uh, 14,800, you know, and then do the rest of this round. But I don't know the bare minimum that the rest of this round would give me.
Yeah, if you're watching this, you know, post, like, stream, and this is just, like, on YouTube or something, I totally wouldn't blame you if you just skipped ahead to however long it would actually take for me to actually get the score and see if I actually beat the rest of this. Because you know what would suck. And you know it's entirely possible. I get the 15,000. And I beat... Let's just say I finish the rest of this round. And let's say I beat Cerberus. Right? Because... You know, I, I, you, know you can avoid him most, most of the time. You can stay away from him. You need to be careful on when you use your thunders. But, you know, you could totally play it safe. Well, I get to round 49, and I don't know, I shoot a thunder too soon against Leon, and he hits me with the fireball. Dead? Have to restart. That's entirely possible. That can easily happen. Two thousand. We must have hit it already. Yeah, it's a give or take twenty minute thing. Okay, for a thousand score with this route. Yeah, I think my math is correct. I think we need about five hours. just doing this. Synced up again. Although, now that I know we need about five hours, if you're watching post upload, you could probably just look at the final time and be like, hmm, that doesn't seem like it's long enough to actually get the 15,000. <laughs> Must have failed. I don't know. Definitely start at round 45. Get a better head start on your score. And again, if they give me the the animation with more points, it can speed up the process, but it's not guaranteed. See, I think one gave me the shorter one and one gave me the longer one. It kind of feels like I get more of the longer animation than the shorter one. Kind of feels that way sometimes. I don't really know. I could just be coping. Two thousand two hundred.
I don't know how long it's been since the 2000 mark, but 200 more points already. You know, I could probably go and open a booster pack now. For one of my daily TCG booster pack opening things. You know, I could probably play online matches on TCG. But I don't want to split my focus that much. Considering those have time limits. Totally could, though. Common, common, nothing that great. Keep it going. Doing good. at the next hundred mark. Two thousand three hundred already. probably reach me. Play it carefully. I'm checking through the wonder picks right now because I'm looking for like anything new. Not seeing anything. This is why I gotta pay attention a little bit more. I felt like I probably could have died there just because I was looking the other way. And was it worth it? No. Like the, the booster packs weren't even worth it. The wonder picks it wasn't even worth pulling right now. Nothing at all whatsoever. I'm not really sure what else I could be doing right now. I think it's probably just best for me to stay focused. If, however... I fail to get the score done in this stream for whatever reason and I still decide to get 
the, the score on stream, I think what I would probably end up doing is next time we just do data rematches just to break things up. Then the next time I attempt this on stream, I would probably want to start stream sooner. Just to make sure I can get it done. We're already past the 2,500 mark. another 10 minutes before we get to the 3,000 mark. Six hundred. And I really should have prepared something else going on in the background. Something going on at the same time. Longer animations. No, why do you not do that? I get more points when you do that. You know, I know I didn't do like. Time trial? I don't think I did time trials in Kingdom Hearts 1. But, because I I think it was just actually impossible. No, maybe you did. Maybe I did. I need, I need to double check. I need to double check that. 2,700. But even if I didn't, I don't think it's like a mandatory thing in Jiminy's journal. So that was my argument. I was gonna say one had the longer animation. Paying attention. Two thousand seven hundred seventy. No, eighty. Okay, whatever. We're almost. One more run and we'll get the 800 mark. 
2,800. Another 200 to go. Keep it going. At this point, this is just a vibe. It's too bad. There's no way to get Stitch here. That would speed things along. Actually, I wonder if it would be better if they had the shorter animations the entire time. So you only get two score for the shorter animation. From each. And we get like, what, six? If it's the longer one? Okay, yeah, never mind it. We're better off with the longer one. point you don't even need to lock on. You'll lose it anyway once you go from the other side. We're almost there. Eight more to go. And... 3,000! And just before the hour mark. Again, I was right. About 3,000 per hour. Just by doing this alone. I actually know it's not exactly 3,000. Oh, wait. Now I'm thinking about it. I had a head start because I killed the, the living bone. But I don't remember what his, how much he actually dropped. Well, either way, it still takes about 20 minutes to get all the necessary to get a thousand anyway. So, no, I'm still correct. cup done. Then that means the only thing that would be left would be the data rematches and we could just put all of our focus on Zemnis, Zigbar, and Vexen. Those three specifically are what's left.
Okay, it's safe. I always assume that they can just hit me. First one would need shorter animation, second one would need the longer one for them to sync up again. That was the opposite. No, wait, no. No, that was the right order, it's just... We're still too far away. Now they're more or less the same. thousand two hundred okay I could try to glide over them sooner, like right when they get done, try to speed it up, like this, instead of them walking over me, basically you could just keep them in the middle. I might speed it up. I still get to keep my distance, just in case one desyncs. Yeah, that'll speed it up. But if I absolutely need to... If I absolutely need to, I can back away for more time to pay attention to something else if needed. Three thousand four hundred we passed already. Shorter animation. Okay, so four. Actually, no, we get eight. Right? Two. Six, six. 54, 58. Six. Okay, no, no, we get 12 score. 
We get 12 score. Uh, every time they do the longer animation. Six from each. right now. I don't know why it's consistently being the longer variant, but I'll take it. Maybe it's getting them to attack manually because I get close versus them attacking when they run out of Distance? Nope, one's desynced. One's desynced, never mind. Yeah, I don't know what's going on there. For a while, they were just doing the longer animation the entire time. Uh, they're desynced. Yeah, keep an eye on both of them. just desynced right now. It's not good. At this point, I think trying to line them up would be better. Take the long route. Three thousand six hundred already. I think when they get majorly desynced like this. It's better to uh, do what I was doing before. Go from end to end so they start running towards you. Once you synced. But they could line back up. That's fine, that works. As long as they do the same animation, like, I'm more okay with that. And if it, happen one, if it happens once, you know, you could probably get them to sync up again. But now they're starting to desync a little bit more. But right there, the one that had the shorter one was the one that was farther away, so that worked out. So now they were closer in sync. Oh. Okay, no. I got them to attack. Or something. Synced a little bit. Let's see. Oh, no, this ain't good. We may have to reset their pattern.
both have the shorter one. Actually, no, they're they're about closer to synced up now. Okay, good. There must be something about Gin. Um, I think I might just be lucky on the animations, but they're, they seem to do the 12 one more often. I don't know why. So the lowest I could get at, at a time is like two score? No, is it four? And the max you could get is 12. Well, the lowest you get, 4,000. Actually, that was only about at about 10 minutes, I think. I'm getting them to attack way quicker by going this route. And not going from end to end. And they were doing a lot of the longer animation. Yeah, more of this, please. Okay, yeah, so this is better. Give yourself a little bit of distance. But I don't need to go from one end of the map to the other. The added time of just waiting there and letting them, like, run up to me, that adds up. Whereas doing this, you get them to get give a score way sooner. <coughs> way sooner. <coughs> Maybe this won't take five hours. It only took me over an hour. Just a little over an hour just to realize, nah, let, let's try to sweep this up. Trying to make sure they barely move from the center. Four thousand two hundred we have passed already.
4,300. Yeah, this speaks things up, that's for sure. They were desynced, but now they are. Nope, desynced again. But I'm still kind of keeping them in the middle. Even if they both use the longer animation, I can still get them synced up again. And I guess that would probably matter for the shorter one, too. Because I think the reason is, the one that's farther behind, even if he starts running, if I line up correctly, he'll run into the other Heartless. And can't just walk through him. So, slows him down. Four thousand five hundred. As long as they're synced up, I don't care. Whether it's the short animation or the long one. I'll, actually, I would prefer the long one. Get more score out of it. It's pretty consistent. Like, I must be doing something to make them do the longer animation. I feel like it's not random. I feel like there's something else to it. But I don't know what it would be. <sighs> I mean, it could just be random. And I'm looking for a pattern where there isn't one. We got them with the longer animation. Four thousand seven hundred. Nope, desynced. I have 
have no idea what's actually causing the different animations. It's, it's probably just random. As you can tell, I really have not much to say. I mean, what else is there to talk about? At least about the game itself. Four thousand eight hundred. Say to both attack. Uh, they're desynced. Come on, I gotta get them both to run towards me. Oop. Yeah, they're majorly desynced right now. 4,900. longer, one's shorter animation. There we go. Yeah, so getting them to attack the, at the same time, the lowest I could get is like a score of four if they both use the shorter animation. Or I could get 12. That's a huge difference. In vi That's a huge difference. It's either, you're either gonna get a, a, a total of four, a total of eight, or 12. If you get them both at attack at the same time. 5,000! Okay. We are at a faster pace, that's for sure. We're getting about 1,000 every... Uh, somewhere between 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, this is going a lot faster. shorter long one has longer animation uh, they may end up getting desynced we'll see Go. 
Calma. Ah, they're kind of synced up again. Kind of worked out. It's too bad I don't think there's anything else I could do to speed up the process. This is probably the best I could do. It's not like I can use thunder on them to cause more score to pop. See, that they're just immune to it. You don't get anything out of it. And I already know you don't get score for using Magnet. And I'm pretty sure every other magic spell can hurt them, so... Not worth it. Five thousand three hundred. This would take even longer if I didn't use this Keyblade. Because this is the only reason I'm getting two score from each of them. Because normally it would only be one point each. Jackpot just doubled the amount. Think about it. The minimum, the minimum I could get if both the attack would be two and then the max would be, like, what, six? It was something like that. Yeah, this would take a lot longer if you didn't use Jackpot. Five thousand four hundred. Five thousand five hundred. They're both taking the shorter one. There we go. Getting sy about synced back up. Ugh.
5,600. at the next hundred mark. Five thousand seven hundred. I just have my in in the in between I have my little avatar I copy and paste the slot mini game just so something else happens on screen when I have a second to you know sit here and do nothing It's already been what an hour and a half Already almost at the 6,000 mark. Making faster progress than what I was originally thinking this was going to take. Seven thousand, no. 5,800. At least we got less than 10,000 to go. Now I'm like actually paying attention to it. Another 12? Nope. We got 8. Five thousand nine hundred. Yes, keep that up, please. Yes, we get twelve each time we do that. Come on. No, we got eight. sinks. And now they're about to sink back up. Okay, nope, never mind. Six thousand. Ah, uh, finally. That probably took about like what, fifteen? Fifteen minutes. Yeah, they're 
desynced right now. Nope. Shorter animation. Please, longer animations. Yay. Six thousand one hundred. Feels like I just need to get them to attack behind, like get them to completely t turn around. Well, whatever, whatever it is, I'm getting it to work. Six thousand two hundred. They're decent right now. Keep giving me the longer animation. Perfect. Keep it coming. Double long animation, and we make it to 6,300. Now oh, they're desynced right now. Still desynced, but they're lining up better. Synced. Okay. Three. No, not yet. Six thousand four hundred. Do you see right now?
6,500. We're getting there. Of the shorter animation. Six thousand six hundred. Remember, fifteen thousand is what we need. Yes, more of that. More of that. a little bit, but that's okay. Six thousand seven hundred. We're getting there. They're a little desynced, but not by much. Lined him back up. Six, six thousand eight hundred. We're not even at the halfway mark yet. Well, at least the halfway mark for the score, anyway. I know this is visually interesting. I, I I fully understand where all the hype is. This is so much more visually interesting than fighting Xemnas data rematch, right? I'm pretty sure. Six thousand nine hundred noise. A lot of 
of the longer animations. Nope. They're desynced. Okay, we are at 7,000. We are bef below the two hour mark. We're, we're still not halfway there yet. Still not there yet. I do have elixirs. I have a full set of eight. I could use those to speed up some of the fights going forward if I need to. But I don't know. I already know like Hades, like I could play completely safe. Just stay along, stay along the edges, get away from him, use Blizzard. Or Thunder. 7,100. So on my own time, uh, I've been playing Twilight Princess a little bit more. The last few achievements I, I needed to do a second playthrough. That's a three heart run. And because I just recently played through the game, I'm just kind of speeding through all the text. So it's going a lot faster. I just need to do the Palace of Twilight, Hyrule Castle. And then the final achievement after that is to defeat, to get through the Cave of Ordeals. Then I'm done with Twilight Princess on my own time. 7,200! shorter animation. Keep it going. Oh no, shorter animation, okay. 7,300. Again, still haven't even hit the two hour mark. Doing really good. Yeah, 
Yes, keep doing that. Keep doing the longer animation. Make this go a lot faster. Seven thousand four hundred. Decent a little bit, that's fine. Still a bit desynced. But then it might be closer now. Yeah, they're closer. Trying to sync them back up. Seven thousand five hundred. We are halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. <coughs> the hype is real. Seven thousand six hundred. Wonder what my toll is going to be by the time we get to the two hour mark. Sink them back up. At least this is going a lot fa faster than I was thinking this was going to take. If I stuck with my original strategy, it would take forever. A lot longer than this. 7,700. It's going to be impossible to get a full 7777, but, you know. Well, that's the best we're probably going to be able to get. Seven 
7,776. That's the closest we can get, pretty much, to get all quadruple sevens. 7,800. Okay. Speaking of lucky seven, I was just thinking about this. So you know how, like, casinos, whenever you do, like, whenever there's the slot machine, you're trying to get triple sevens. Sevens are the lucky number. Where did that originate from? Was that an Irish thing? Like, where did the lucky seven come from? What's the lore behind that? This is what happens when you got nothing else to think about. Still not at the two hour mark. We got one minute left. Let's see where we're at at the two hours. Keep my eye out on it. 7,900 so far. So I, I don't think we're going to make the 8,000 before the two hour mark. Considering they keep going for the shorter animation right now. Yeah, we're not making it. Ten seconds. And two hours. Seven thousand nine hundred and forty four. Oh, two hours on the total stream, anyway. Not necessarily two hours of doing this. to the 8,000. There we go. 8,000. Just a little over two hours to get 8,000 score. So you know what that means. It's basically going to be another two hours before we get to the 15k. <laughs> Granted, the first hour took a lot longer because of my strategy, so it's gonna be less than that, hopefully. Thousand one hundred. Uh. Man, this is where I wish I still, uh, Dissidia. 
Opera Omnia was still running. Because I would totally have that up on my phone. Because that's not something I don't quite... I don't need to be online or anything. On my own. On my own, just be like, yeah, I'll make a move. You know, sort of thing. Oh, well. Kind of hard to play like almost any other mobile game that could be online. Eight thousand two hundred. Thousand three hundred. Well, let me think. What were all the what were the rest of the rounds? Uh, the next, the next bit was. The Wind Rhapsodies, or whatever they were, and the two Assault Riders, and then there was another wave after that. Was it Dragoons? Was this... Was this a set of Dragoons? Oh my god, I'm, f I'm forgetting the order. I'm forgetting the rest of this round. Thousand four hundred. Hades is probably just watching from afar. Like, even Don and Goofy, they're just watching from a distance, and everyone's like, man, this is so boring. <laughs> You gotta wonder what like Donald and Goofy are actually thinking about during all this. They're they're watching. They gotta be watching what's going on. Hades is just watching from like his chair and he's just like, oh, this is the most dull this is the dullest fight I've ever seen and hosted. Ugh. I'm not getting my money back. Or people are not getting their money back. No refunds. Uh, nope, not yet. There we go. Eight thousand five hundred.
Oh, I see the problem. Hold on. Get that going. Let's see if it takes. There we go. It did take. Good. Uh, good. 8,600. We're getting there. Yeah, when I first... For the first hour, I was going from one end of the arena to the other. And when I was doing that, I was getting in about a thousand score every 20 minutes. I'm making it go a lot faster. feels like there needs to be a kaboom to make it more interesting. 8,700. Again, we're already half- we're already halfway through. To the 15k. Oh my god! No, it's- it's a lot. But this is the safest. This is the safest way to do it. I level one. Could you imagine if I didn't have jackpot? This would take even longer. Oh, banana. Banana. I need to play Donkey Kong 64 on here. Well, uh, when I tried playing it on emulator uh, on my own time, for some reason, like, it just was not working. Not that N64 games weren't working. Donkey Kong 64 wasn't working. Like, you try to go into a building, the game just warps you back to DK's treehouse. It's like, okay, something's wrong. Feels like there's something wrong with the ROM itself. I don't know. I don't know what was going on there. I like DK64. I've 100 percent it like, I don't know, a good two or three times. Or I should say 101%. You forgot what you were doing in DK64? I'm. Is it one of those things where you started it and then you stopped? Hey, look, we got 8,888. It's perfectly symmetrical. 8,900. How's it going, PQG? I'm, I'm, I'm assuming you're doing something more interesting than what I'm doing now. Yeah, Donkey Kong 64, there's a lot of backtracking, but for the most part, the backtracking is within each world itself. You don't really have too many cases where you need to go to a previous world. That's a more, that's more of a banjo 2 -y thing. You started and then left it for like 10 years? Oh no. <laughs> 
turns out it's right at the very end at King K. Rule. Chat, we're over 9,000! I can't speak. No. My voice is going. It's over 9,000, chat. You unlocked everyone, so at least you gone through the first three worlds. Yeah, if I remember correctly, you'll, you'll do some backtracking once you get all the characters, then you could get everything in the first two worlds. So you backtrack for the first two worlds at the very least, because now you have everyone. And I think there's like one case in Fungi Forest uh, Crystal Cave where you'll need to upgrade from one of those two worlds to complete it. And to complete the other one. But other than that, like all the backtracking is within each world itself. Oh, the Jack in the Box one? Oh, so that's that's the World 3 boss. So you basically unlock all the con all the cons, but then like couldn't continue forward. Interesting. I bet if you went back to the game now you could probably do it. There are some bosses that you you fight twice. The Jack in the Box is not one of them. The first two bosses have like a second rematch. The Armadillo and like the Dragonfly guy. Were you playing on Wii U or N64 or emulator, by the way? I don't actually own an N64 copy. I want one, but I don't have one. I was playing on Wii U because, you know, it was on the Wii Virtual Console. And that was the first time they let it be available digitally again. 9,200. Is Donkey Kong 64 on Switch Online yet? I know Banjo-Kazooie and Banjo-Tooie are. You're playing on N64. Ooh. Playing on OG, where the actual lag is there. And that actually helps you <laughs> through some of the later minigames. Should I eat breakfast burrito or just eggs? Well, how hungry are you? If you're very hungry, go with the breakfast burrito. If you're not as hungry and you just kind of want to, let's just say a light snack, go with the eggs. Love my N64. Yeah, I know. Mine still works, although sometimes it does have a little bit of trouble, like, turning on a game. Sometimes you have to, like, you know, keep inserting the cart like 10 times just to get it to run, but it still works. Takes a little bit, though. Having today? Well, I haven't either. But that's normal for me. Nine thousand three hundred. Pikuchi, I don't know if you've been keeping up with the Sonic Adventure stuff, but... One of the things I have to do is the Chow Garden. So I want a suggestion, if you care. What color should the Chow be? If you don't care, that's fine. If you if you have a preference, let me know. Sadly, there's only like three colors I can't get, but oh well. Miss my streams now. Any color? Uh, the options for Chows are... You have the normal one. We have gold, silver, black. Uh, white, yellow, pink, purple. Light, lime green, gray. Blue, orange, green. 
I think those are all the colors I can choose. There are three colors I cannot get, and that's red, aqua, and uh, uh, brown. But any of those. If you have a pick, I'll throw it into like a random die roll and see what I choose when we get to it. So far, blue and green have been chosen. Technically, there is Onyx and Topaz, but you have to breed for that. And unless I do that on my own time, I don't know if I do that. I mean, I mean, if that's what, if that ends up getting chosen, you know, we could go for it. Lime green. Okay. Okay. Lime green is on the list. Well, I'll probably be doing on my own time is I'll... I have some dice here. I'll probably just roll the die and see what order we get. Because right now is... Uh, the preferences for the child color are blue, green, and now lime green. So I'll roll a dice deciding which one of that... Which one of the colors we get. Then I roll another die... To, show, uh, to figure out if we're going with neutral, hero, or dark. And another die for the preference of swim, fly, power, running, or balance. And then the result will be when we actually start working on the chow. Which will be near the end of the playthrough anyway. I'll throw lime green in the list. Have you played Sonic Adventure Pikachu? Or Sonic Adventure 2, for that matter? Either or, honestly. 9,600. So you know what you're talking about. It says you never had the opportunity to play Sonic Adventure. Okay, okay. Uh, for reference, uh, the Chow are little, basically, like, creatures that you take care of. It's almost like a Tomogachi. And what when you play Sonic Adventure, you know, you destroy the robots. Each robot drops an animal. You could take those animals, take them to the Chow Garden... Give those animals to your chow and it raise course, raises cor corresponding stats. And the chow, the chow world altogether, there's a lot to it. You didn't have one of those? Well, uh, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 were ported to the GameCube. If you had a GameCube. And those are the ones I played anyway. I don't have a Dreamcast. Are they cute? Yes. They are. Here. Let me see if I can... Oops. In the few seconds I have in between jumping past them, I'm gonna... I'm gonna pull up a image of a chow for you. Or... Or I'll probably just pull up the chow uh, website that I was looking at, because the chow... There's there's so much hidden hidden mechanics with Chow. Hold on, because you could breed Chow, and Chow can evolve. They can reincarnate. They can die. Okay, hold on. I'm pausing it for just a second. Oh, where was it? Hold on. Uh, Chow. Here, I'm gonna pull up a... Where is it? Sorry. Wasting a little bit of time. Colors. There we go. This is probably a good page. No GameCube? Ah, oh, okay. 
Here. Here is a website for uh Chow. Like, just take a look. N64, PS2, PS3, Wii, Wii U, PSP. Game Boy Color, Game Boy, 3DS, PS4, PS5. Okay. So you basically, you skip the GameCube. But the funny thing is, with the Wii, assuming you had a earlier model Wii, you could have played GameCube games with it. But at least the current systems, you could get Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 digitally, so there's that route. It's even on Steam. They look like Dragon Quest slimes with a body? Yeah, pretty much. It's pretty much what they kind of feel like. But no, with the Chow, there's just a lot to them. Honestly, when I played Sonic Adventure 2 when I was a kid, a lot of my time was spent on the Chow Garden. Because what what you would do is, you know, you play a stage, you get materials from the enemies, whether they're animals or in, or in Sonic Adventure 2 you get Chaos Drives. Then you go to the Chow Garden, feed them to your Chow, they raise their stats, rinse and repeat. You play the fun stages over and over and over again. But no, seriously, like, there's a lot going on with Chow. Like, you could, you could, you could basically play Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 just for the Chow Garden alone. Let's see. So I mentioned how they were all 9,900. I mentioned how there were all the different colors of Chow you can get. There's a uh, Jewel Chow. So, like, you can get gold and silver for one. Like, ruby, sapphire, emerald, topaz. Uh, you know, a lot of jewel colors, special Chow. There are shiny variants of each Chow. If you're lucky to get a shiny variant, they have a more sparkly color. And if they're shiny Jewel Chow... They're actually more transparent and more invisible. They can become heroes or dark chow. Basically, one's more angel-like, one's more demonic, or more demon. Still cute demons. Uh, they can reincarnate multiple times. And again, you can breed chow. Can you name them? Yes, of course you can name them. The main thing, the main reason you have to do, you have to work on Chow. Hey, we made it to the 10,000 mark. Sorry. Uh, in Sonic Adventure 1, to get all the emblems, you have to build up some Chow. Or you have to build up at least one Chow because there are the Chow races. And you gotta win like five different cups with the Chow races to get all the emblems you need. So you're gonna need... Like, good stats on your chow. We shall see. I don't have a name in mind. I do not have a name in mind. Although, I could just go with my kind of default uh, naming my idea. Go with Oogum. That's kind of the go-to for me. But yeah, we're going to have to build separate Chow in Sonic Adventure 2. And by the way, Pikachu, if you were playing on the GameCube, or I guess even the Dreamcast as well, uh, you can take your Chow. I'm going to speak as... I'm going to talk about the GameCube, because that's what I'm most known. Uh, you can take your Chow from the GameCube, and then put it on your Game Boy Advance. Uh, if you have Sonic Advance 1 or 2, you have access to a tiny Chow Garden, so you can put your Chow in there. So you can continue to work on your chow on the go. And then you could 
if you want, you could take your chow and put it into the other game, Sonic Adventure 1 or 2, you know. And in Sonic Adventure 2, not only is there the chow racing again, there's now chow karate. It's fun. And it's too bad, like, they stopped the chow, doing the chow world after Sonic Adventure 2. And it's so stupid because they could easily do it again and make it work in modern day. Granted, you don't really do anything with racing or karate. You're mostly just watching them and see how well they do. You're kind of like a parent in that way. Just watching a little child, like, take a karate class sort of thing. Uh... But it, it's nice to, it's kind of fun to be the child, be like, yeah, go get him, kick him in the face, knock him out of the ring. <laughs> Stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, I, I, they could easily do a modern day child garden and make it work. I explained this, I, 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 I explained this idea a few days ago, but I'm going to bring it up again. They can do what, what Pokemon has currently did with, like, Pokemon Home. And what you could do, what Sega could do, is make a Tiny Chow Garden mobile app. And they can make that first. If they want. That's where, you know, you'll have your Tiny Chow Garden to take care of. You kind of treat it as almost like a normal Tomodachi. And maybe there's some things you could get while in the Tiny Chow Garden. Then with each new Sonic game that comes out, they can make another Chow Garden. Where you transfer your Chow over to the Sonic game, and maybe in one Chow Garden, like there's now Chow Racing or Chow Karate, and you could get maybe ribbons for your Chow, and then transfer it back over so you get everything. And then in the next Sonic game they add in, they have another Chow Garden. And, but this Chow Garden has, instead of racing and karate, they have something else. You know, they can add other things. But it's a current way of doing the Chow Garden. And they can easily make it work, but they don't do it. It would sell millions. It'd probably be their best selling Sonic game in years. Right, business person said it's Sega, so I get royalties with a snatch of your idea, pretty much. Hey, I just want it made. I don't care. But I feel like that that can easily sell. With the tiny chow garden, uh, you probably would have to do something like with Pokemon Home where there's a pay, a free version and a pay version. But I don't know how you would distinguish the two. Make a breakfast burrito? Good choice. Good choice. There are special character exclusive Chow that you could get for Sonic Adventure 2. I think most of them were like, you can only get them through uh, the Dreamcast online service through special events or something. But on the GameCube version, well, it's not really possible to get a Knuckles or an Amy Chow. I think they are just, you have to hack them in. Like they're lost. You can get a Tails Chow. If you have the GameCube version of Fantasy Star Online, my friend actually has this, so I managed to get one. There is a side quest in Fantasy... There is a quest in Fantasy Star Online, and once you get it, you unlock a Tails Chow. And you transfer the Tails Chow to a... To a Game Boy Advance, and then you can transfer that to Sonic Adventure 2. Or one... Actually, I think you might be able to transfer it in one. And you get a Tails Chow. And apparently you can do that mission as many times as you want, because he... 
I got he got one for himself and got one for me. Even though it's not breakfast, who cares? Breakfast burritos are delicious. I usually end up making breakfast burritos whenever I have whenever I make tacos, just in general. When I make tacos, I make a lot. And whatever I fin I I'll finish some of the leftovers, right? So I all I have left for taco stuff is sometimes cheese, beans, and I do rice for my tacos as like filling. So I usually have the meat and the rice left over and cheese. And I mix that all in with breakfast burritos. You know, eggs and ha uh, hash browns. Get a lot of filling out of it. 10,500 right now. We're almost at the 600 mark. What's also nice is I, the gas station near me actually serves breakfast burritos. They're huge, too. Honestly, I can eat one of those breakfast burritos at that gas station. And I'm probably full for the rest of the day. Like, it's filling. 10,600. Ten thousand seven hundred. Kind of desynced right now. They're doing okay. Still desynced. Seven thousand eight hundred. Or no. Wow, that is way off. No, ten thousand eight hundred. Jeez. That's a big difference. I don't know why my mind went to seven thousand. So, two hours, 37, close to 38. We're getting close to the 11,000. Okay. So, 
Yeah, do what you need to do, Pikuchi. I'm just trying to get through this. Let's hope I don't F it up <laughs> once I get the score. You know, don't die, right? Again, I might as well get the 15k from these two specifically. I don't know how many points I could get out of the rest of the fights from this round. Play it safe. We're already near, like, 2 hours and 40 minutes in as it is. Might as well. Eleven thousand. Four thousand more to go. hundred. Eleven thousand one hundred. It's not going to be possible to get. Eleven thousand one hundred and sixteen. It was impossible to get all ones, but you know, of 1,112 would have been the closest. Hey, at least we got all eights, though. I mean, if you really wanted to show off to Jiminy, you can actually just max out the score, but that would take hours. You'd probably have to leave your console running for a few nights and just keep the game paused. At that point, though, you, you're better off starting from the beginning. Try to get as much score on the way as possible until you get to this round. And I'm just talking about in general. It doesn't even have to be a level 1 run. I don't know why you would want to do that, though. One thousand, no, eleven thousand two hundred.
about ready to actually fight them. I have to magnet, but then I have to go with physical attacks. They're immune to thunder. I could maybe shoot them from afar with Blizzard. Actually, that might be safer. Because I really don't want them to use that, uh, uh, the Lance Tug command, whatever that one actually is called. I definitely don't want them to activate that move if possible. 11,300. Already past there. Maybe shooting them far with Blizzard might actually be safer. I'll try that. If I've run out of magic, okay. Make sure I have magic for the next round, or the next wave, when the Assault Riders show up. It's not necessarily the Assault Riders I'm worried about. It's more of the Wind Rhapsodies that I'm worried about. I need to get rid of them as a be. One, 11,400. Still desynced right now. Not a good sign. Let's see. Eh, they're still closer together, but they are a little desynced. Okay, now we're good. Eleven thousand five hundred. Got about less than 15 minutes for the three hour mark. I'm not saying I would have been at 15k if I did this strategy from the start, but we'd definitely be a lot closer. And it is nearly three hours, so it's probably possible to do, do this in three hours by doing it this way. I was looking at five hours with my other math, so this is definitely a lot better. Eleven thousand six hundred.
kind of fun having uh, the Heartless have animations like this where they just get bonked on the head by their own weapon. It's a nice attention to detail. 11,700. Like, just looking at the animation itself, you know? The fact that this is even a thing that can happen, you know? Most of the time, it would just attack, miss, and then attack you again. But no, one want to be a little goofy with these enemies. No, not not yet. Eleven thousand eight hundred. Synced. That's okay. Ten minutes for the three hour mark. Eleven thousand nine hundred. We're definitely making it to the twelve uh, the twelve thousand mark before three hours. Should get me to Nope. Never mind. They they both did the shorter one again. There we go. 12k. 3,000 more to go. We got eight minutes for the three hour mark. Actually more like yeah, a little less than eight minutes.
sure. Oh yeah, 12,100. Saint now. Nope, still desynced again. Twelve thousand two hundred. Synced again, Twelve thousand three hundred. Still got we got about four minutes for the three hour mark. I wanna see what we get. One, two, three, two, four. Yeah. I I know it's not gonna be possible to get a forty five. I think it's possible to get a yeah, it would be 48. 44, 48, yeah. Actually, the closer one would have been 46. Or 40, 44 or 46 would have been closer. Just to get as close to, as, to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 as possible with this current setup. Uh, 12,400. Synced again. Two minutes. Okay. Twelve thousand 
500. Still keeping an eye on the timer. See where we get. Still got time. Okay, less than a minute. We're going to make it to six hundred. We should be able to. Twelve thousand six hundred. We got thirty seconds left for the three hour mark. What's going on? Any progress? I mean there's plenty of progress, Hawkhorn Dog. We're ten seconds away from three hours, and I'm less than three thousand away to get the high score needed. Well, what else is new, Hawkhorn Dog? Three hours, and we have 12,600 and, well, 60. It's not the exact number right when it hit three hours, but hey, it's about right. Yeah, not much going on other than this, Hawkhorn Dog. This, this is the safe route to get the score we need. How much? Grind some stuff on heroes. Oh, what are you working on in heroes? Twelve thousand seven hundred. By the way, hot corn dog. When it comes to the Chow Garden, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna roll dice. To decide what we get when it comes to the chow colors so far the options are blue green and lime green so i'm rolling based on those three right now and it will be all be revealed when we actually do the chow stuff that's a full night frozen skin still looking good didn't they um not delist the incredible stuff, but take it out of the shop by now. Because I know they cycle through that sort of thing. 12,800. Yeah. Yeah, they cycle through it. Yeah, what are you working on in Heroes? Uh, on my own time, I've been playing TCG Pocket. I still have to finish the online PvP like ranking thing right now. But I made it to the next rank, and I think I have one more rank to go, but you gotta do 20 fights. Or, I should say, you gotta win 20 PvP matches to get, I think, to max rank. And I got... A week to do that. Really need to grind that out and get it done. Twelve thousand nine hundred.
15k. Should get me to 13k. Assuming they both give me the long animation. Yeah. There we go. 13k. 2,000 more points to go. Oh, by the way, Hawkhorn Dog, a couple nights ago, I went to go to the movies. It's been a while. Uh, I saw, I don't know if you heard of it, it's called Red One. It's basically a, it's a Dwayne The Rock Johnson, like, I would say, like, Christmas Santa movie, but it's, it's basically like Santa gets kidnapped and his bodyguard, The Rock, you know, needs to go and find the missing person. So that's more of what the movie is like. It's okay. It's kind of dumb, but in the... Yeah, this is kind of fun dumb, somewhat. It's one of those movies where if you saw it on Netflix, I'd be like, yeah, and yeah, why not? Give it a watch. I don't know if I would say see it in theaters, though. It feels like... Oh, it's on Netflix. I'll give it a watch. Three thousand one hundred forty. Okay. Oh yeah, and uh oh what was it? Oh, what was his name? I'm now blanking on his name. The guy who played Santa, it was uh The guy who played J. Jonah Jameson. Why am I blanking on his name? <laughs> I don't why am I blanking? Dang it. Yeah, he plays Santa. Uh This is gonna bother me. Come on, there we go. It was J.K. Simmons, there we go. I don't know why I was blinking. Look, I, I'm better with faces, not with names. I can remember someone's face more than I can remember someone's name. Thirteen thousand two hundred. Probably end up going to see Venom soon. Been meaning to watch it. I don't know if it's any good. Just haven't gone around to the movies lately. Still gonna make sure to watch Sonic 3 next month, though. It's 
13,300. Short animation. Thirteen thousand four hundred. I don't know if it's going to be at the four hour mark or not, but we're, we're getting there. It's taking it's a bit of time. Yeah, this little thing took a little bit of time, that's for sure. Thirteen thousand five hundred. Okay, I only got one thing to do that. Short animation. One of each. Thirteen thousand six hundred. Starting to get desynced. Oh. In Heroes, there's Forma for the Fire Festival. Fire Festival Lynn.
and you're going to use the Eventigator to the skills he, she needs. Very nice. 13,700. Um, what skills does she need? I'm assuming you also need to get her a different weapon, right? Thirteen thousand eight hundred. Get in there. Good orbs. We're almost at the 13,900. This is how interesting this is, you know. You get, you get excited for every hunt when you're close to every hundred. You, you gotta get excited for something during this. Thirteen thousand nine hundred. I'm like getting a little impatient. I'm like, we're so close. I want to just get a move on, but you know, got it. We're almost there. Just a little bit longer. Fourteen thousand. Where we got one thousand more left to go. Her weapon is fine. You need to get her a goose friend. Uh, and as a C skill, either time pulse for breath of life for. I don't know what either of those do, but is there a preference on which one to get? Fourteen thousand one hundred. 
Breath of Life 4 is harder to get, so hopefully we can get that. So Breath of Life 4 is the one you would rather have, but that one's harder to get. So if you can't get that, then Time Pulse 4 is a nice substitute. Uh, who do you need to pull to get either of those skills? are desynced. Fourteen thousand two hundred. We're so close. It's so nice to be in the Latin, like the final one, one thousand points. It's harder to get normally. In Forma, it's more like how many times you gotta refresh the polls. Uh, before you see the skills you want. Oh. Does it cost anything to refresh the skills? Or, when I say cost, I mean like, does it cost gems to even see the list the first time or something? Fourteen thousand three hundred. I think I can I kind of asked that because when you're doing a poll for, uh, like you're trying to summon some other units. You know, you get your five choices. The problem is, uh, once you see the list, you still have to pick one. You s so you basically still have to pull one unit just to see if you got a good, you know, if you're trying to get like a sword unit, you know, or something, you have to pull for reds. Oh wait, that's not, that changed, didn't it? If you're trying to get a red unit, basically, you want to try to get pulls with a bunch of red orbs, but, you know, you find one with no red orbs. You still have to pull one of them. I don't know if it still works that way for this Forma, I think you said? Forma, yeah. Fourteen thousand four hundred. Nope. 
14,500. Less than 500 points to go. And again, I'm just going to get my full score from these two. I don't know how many points I'll get from the rest. Play it safe. Getting close. We're about re we're getting ready to actually do the rest of this tournament, and hope I don't mess up. Oh, that would suck. You know what sucks though is that I have to use the wishing lamp the rest of the time. I can't swap mid fight to like Ultima weapon. For the faster recharge. 14,600. Shorter animation. Uh, they're desynced. Almost to the 700 mark. Maybe if they both go for the longer animation. Nope. Of course, of course they wouldn't. This is how, this is the small goals you look for. 14,700. Desynced. They both got the longer animation. Okay, 14,800. Each Forma event has four set characters. You can't choose just any one you want. This Forma has Child Hector, Child Ivy Wood, Desert Nino, and Fire Festival Lynn. Okay, so there's only four to choose from. And how are you supposed to get, what was it, Breath of Life? Yeah, how are you supposed to get that?
14,900. 100 more score to go. We're almost there. We're almost at the score. And we just gotta beat it. I could probably actually start going after them and uh, continuing on the rest of the round, but no, let's play it completely safe. Don't want to have like 14,999 and then get to Cerberus. Where you can't gain any score anymore. If only the boss fights like gave you a flat score from beating them. Even if there's no other way to get them to drop score, even with Peter Pan. If they do drop score, I don't know how much they give you. But I'm pretty sure they don't. Please. Nope, not yet. There it is, 15k! Play it carefully. I'm gonna shoot them- oh! Gotta be careful. Yeah, shooting them with Blizzard will stun them. Oh, I gotta be careful of that move. That's the move I gotta watch out for. Oh. Hey, hold on. Where are we? One's down. Use up my magic. I am not getting near that. I, I don't care, dude. I am not getting near you when you're doing that attack. All that's left is the assault riders. Okay, I can play it safe. I can wait for my magic. Keep an eye on both of them. Okay, one left. left. Right. These guys. Great. I have to wait it out. All because I didn't have magic. Okay. Play carefully. Fine. No. Oh, I gotta play this safe. Of course, everyone's gonna get healed. There we go. We got rid of the reinforcements. Round 48. Cerberus. Oh, that was close. We know the drill. I'm 
slide around, dodge the fireballs, wait for my MP. He's against the wall. It's kind of harder to just glide around him. Sadly, my magic takes longer to refill. Ugh. I get whatever thunder I can get, I guess. Play it safe. There we go. Again, gotta fight Cerberus the safe way. That's okay. get rid of the uh, uh, torches, but nope. Cerberus is more important. There isn't really a safe time to stand on the ground and go for the thunder combo. a safe time to get at least one combo. There we go. And we're doing good. We're doing good. Again, this is the completely safe route. Don't get close, because he can one-hit KO me. I could maybe get the rest of my MP. There we go. Thunder yet. Very carefully. Oh, that felt close. Filled. I can maybe get a combo in. There we go. Couple bars of health. Refill. Gotta stay focused. Yeah. Ha. Ha. Got a full. 
full combo. Oh, that's right, with Yuffie, I, I was using uh, Limit Form. Wasn't she immune to Blizzard? That might have been the reason. Almost there. All right. Round forty nine. Leon's first. for the fireball. Keep a listen for Cloud. Because if Cloud goes Omni Slash, we're going to have to uh, dodge that. Okay. Oh, Omni Slash. times for Omni Slash. Okay. okay get, we're working on it. Of MP. Oh, wait for it to drain. Cloud's going for Omni Slash. Okay, one more. Yeah, wait for the fireball. I'm not making that mistake again. Leon's down. Next is Tifa. She's the next easiest to get rid of. Again, gotta keep an eye on Cloud. If he goes for Omni Slash, I gotta dodge that. And there it is. could happen. Data rematch for a little while. Just for a little bit. So, question. Do I uh, make attempts off screen? And just get get that section done off screen if possible or do we try again next week i had a, i part of me was having a th feeling i'm like wait no am i too low and yeah i was dang it Ugh. i ha i knew that could happen i knew for a fact that could happen Ah. How are we feeling? Do we get the score on screen? Or do I try to make some attempts on my own time? Because I basically would just be doing that again. 
at this point, let's just give Xemnas an... Oh, I don't have Reflect. No Reflect for right now. Dang it. Uh, yeah. We'll try to do a legit attempt if possible. You know, a legit attempt without Reflect on my shortcuts. Be like an hour of just dodging those dudes before getting into the juicy part. Dude, it... You gotta realize, it took three and a half hours to get the score. And we saw I got the score before. It's just... Those three and a half hours? I mean, it could probably be shortened a little bit, but... Those three hours? Three and a half hours? It's just that again. And we saw I got the score. Yeah, three hours of that again. I just failed dodging Cloud. What are we thinking? I tried to take care of it off stream. Because we know I could beat Hades Cup. I've done it before. And we saw how I. We saw me getting the score itself. You know what? Fine. Whatever. Uh. I need reflect back in. Yeah. Kind of getting the feeling of just doing it on my own off stream. We sa basically sat through it once. Chat, you might, you probably don't need to sit through it again. I think that's what I'm gonna do. You sat through it once, basically. You don't need to sit through it again. I'll deal with the three hours again later. Not tonight, though. Not today. Oh. Decisive Pumpkin's not equipped. That would make a difference. You can tell I'm kind of zoned out. <laughs> I'm probably only gonna... I don't know, maybe for another 15 minutes, because that... Honestly, that, that was kind of draining. Hey, Oscar. It would be another... It'll either be another Wednesday getting a score, or it'll be multiple depending on RNG. Yeah, exactly. RNG and skill. Let's be honest, that was kind of more on skill because I started jumping gliding, I guess, a little too early. So I got a little too low to the ground, I guess. And we've I've beat Hades Cup before. You saw, it was on stream. It's just now with a score tied to it. I think I'll just try again off stream. Okay, reflect is still there. I need this. There we go. Let's reset that. Yeah, I feel a little drained after that. If I wasn't, like, anywhere near close to the 15k, I think this would be a different conversation. But since I made it, and it's just a matter of taking the time to do it, you know. Must won't be in each chamber you enter. Whoever kills the first enemy unit allowed to get a new skill. Oh, okay. Once 
Once the chamber ends, you can choose to give one skill to the unit. And the skills are mostly random. The higher the chamber, the better the skills. Oh, okay, so it's actually... Uh, so you're trying to get as far as possible. And if you manage to make it to the later floors, you have a better chance of getting better skills. I'll probably try to give this a go on my own, on my own, the Hades Cup. Also kind of speeds up Kingdom Hearts 2 a little bit more if I do that off screen. We saw I can do it. We saw it could be done. Since the Fire Festival win, she will be able to solo all 25 chapters. Oh, that's cool. If you worked on the whole team, they would easily be all 25. Oh, that's nice. So with Fire Festival win, you can easily solo. But if you want to make it even easier, get the other three worked on. I still have guard break, just in case it happens again. You gotta come over here. Six bars out. Yep, that was on me. I knew that timing was off. I thought I was out of range. Oh, you can tell I'm kind of out of it. Ah, <laughs> oh, man, that loss really hurt. Three and a half hours of setup. 
just to lose because loot to too low to the ground to cloud. Dang it. That's the annoying part. It's three hours of setup. Again, the alternative is to start from the beginning fights and then use Peter Pan. But we saw how difficult I was. Uh, we saw how much I was struggling through some of those later fights. Just normally. You got Breath of Life 4? Very nice. So, is that all you needed for Festival Lin? need Lugu's friend for. Okay. Uh, is Lugu's friend in the same uh, RNG thing? Or do you have to get it a different way? Same way to be skill, so okay. So you just gotta deal with RNG. I would at least like to make it to phase two once. I got caught by the by the railing. Dang it. get through phase one it can be done it's not that bad just get back in the groove again I would at least want one attempt of phase two just one that's all I'm asking <laughs> Faster dance again. Man, like, I kind of have an idea of what to do, uh, you know, against Xemnas, but when we're up against Zigbar and Vexen, I have less of a shot. Like, I find those fights a lot harder. Thank you. 
Guard. Phase two. There we go. Phase two. Again, I at least want one attempt. Okay. Let's give this a shot. Riku's wasting my freaking elixirs. Okay, I think he's gonna go for the grab move. Yeah, he's he's already going for it. Some of that was wasted. I don't know how many po elixirs we Riku has wasted as of right now. And that was wasted. Okay. To be honest, I'm gonna call it. <laughs> I am. I just feel. I, I'm just like a little depressed from that one loss. Not depressed is a strong word, but you know what I mean. Defeated. That's the word. Thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. Kingdom Hearts 2 on Wednesdays. The rest are Sonic Advance 1 right now. Or not Advance, Sonic Adventure 1 right now. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scottbot64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the About page. On my own time, I will try to beat, get that score challenge done, most likely. You've... You've seen me beat Hades Cup before. The strategy's the same. You saw me get the score. You don't need to sit through three to three and a half hours of just getting to the score just for another attempt again. You don't You don't need that again. I'll try that on my own time. So when it comes to Kingdom Hearts 2, it's just data rematches, and it's just the three left. Anyway, have a good day. Later. <laughs>